Well, hi guys, welcome back to the spare room. There's Emma again. This is part 20 of this little engine build. As you can see, there's not much more to do. It's starting to come together. There's a couple of little jobs. One thing I've discovered is that cheese head screws to hold this plate on here aren't a particularly good idea because you can't get a screwdriver in there past the boiler. So I'm going to have to make a couple of little studs and some nuts. Like it says in the book, you should read the instructions. The other job is something to hold this down. Um, it has a stainless steel strap. Just a bit of 12mm by 0.6 that goes over here with the bend in one end to bolt down. And it's got an adjustable piece with a thread in it on the other end that you tighten up with a screw. So that's quite a good little system I think. So they're the jobs for today. And then we're going to put it together and give it a run. So let's get into it. So looking at that, there's this strip of stainless steel. Which I've cut to length. And marked out. It's just got a clearance hole in here and a bend in this end. It's pretty straightforward. And it's got a hole for a rivet in this end. I marked out another bit of steel too. Or I've blued up, I haven't marked it out yet. We need to make this little bracket out of steel so we can tap it. And that rivets on the end and gives us this shape here. So that's sort of the next job. I'll get the folder out, I'll drill them and I'll get the folder out and bend them up and we'll mark that up cut a piece off with the hacksaw and true him up with a file so after messing around with that we've put that bend in that end in a screw and we've put one hole in this end and this piece has got two holes so I'm just going to use a pop rivet there to fasten that together and the biggest part of this job was finding the pop rivet gun which was in the back of a drawer and we're going to drill through the other one and put another rivet in it and that's the tie down strap done so we've got a second hole in there. We give that burr a file off. It's got a little bit of a high spot, so I'll give that a tap with a hammer on the back of the vise here. So we find all these tools that we don't use very often. This is handy thing sometimes. I bought it for something. I haven't a I haven't a clue really what it was now. But it must have needed eighth pop rivets because that's about the last two I had left. Anyway that's the tie down strap. It needs a bend in it somewhere about the middle we just bend it nice and straight around the boiler and we can start to put it together so there we go that's just got a nut and a screw in the bottom here. There's another screw in the bottom here that's adjustable. It's got a thread in it to pull it down nice and tight. Um, according to the book, it should be easy to put together. Well, if he's not with you, then he's not with them. Run off again. I don't know what's wrong with that, mate. I, mean, I don't know what to say to him. He's join up and get his own back. In theory, this should. So that goes over there like that. And the 
theoretically this should go in here like this. A reference from Dr. Campbell. And that's pretty neat. I like that. Well designed. And the last job is to cut a couple of studs to fit in there, make sure they're nice and neat and even, the same length. And a couple of little centre punch marks on this side just to stop them turning when you do them up. Take the sharp corners off there with a file and give this a final polish and we're ready to put it together. So we've got all these bits. I think the first bit is to bolt this to the to the engine frame. And a couple of little nuts on there. And then this goes through here. Like such. Next job would be to put a couple of screws in the bottom here. Next job is to move this along so that you can't see this strap, I think. Must be in about the middle there, in the middle of the boiler here and here. We need to check to make sure that there's enough length in here. And there's plenty. And make sure that everything's nice and upright. We're going to tighten this one up. And sit the piston in there like that. <coughs> through there and through there and put the bolt and put the spring and the nut on there. And there we have it, all back together. So one last job is to put the safety valve in there, fill him up with water, light a fire and see if it goes. So we've oiled all that up. A bit of hydraulic oil, same as I used for the lathe. A bit in the cylinder and a bit under the, the valve plate. And we've oiled the the bearing and the crank pin trimmed up these wicks on the on the burner down nice and low and we've put some fuel in the in the tank so I guess we I guess we better light the burner all three there they haven't got very big flames but it seems to be plenty big enough And make sure they're going. Not tip that up too much is pretty important or you spill metho all over the all over the, the engine. It's starting to get nice and warm. I don't want to touch it when it's hot because I'll get fingerprints all over it. And there we go. I'm still pretty impressed about this. It's yeah, it's been a fair bit of work and still priming a little bit there. But it'll run for about six or seven minutes on one boiler full.
and <clears throat> when we look at the project and the things that we've done we started off with a, a wooden pattern and got this cast we've machined all the engine parts we made a boiler and we pressure tested it we made a safety valve and tested that we made a burner a little soft soldered tank <clears throat> we've done a lot of sheet metal work and I've learned a thing or two along the way it's quite a foundation course in, in metal work I can't see how an average year 10 student or fourth form student sophomore or whatever you want to call him would have a hope of getting it finished in a, in a school year now but there was obviously a lot of them built and it's a pretty sweet little engine straight out of the box I'm really pleased with that so I'm glad you've stuck with us this far all those that have and commented along the way and kept me a bit encouraged and gave me the encouragement to keep it keep going and get it finished because I think this is worthwhile and we're going to have to look at another project now but there's plenty to do so stay tuned thanks for watching and thanks for everything really appreciate the YouTube community and all they've done and more soon guys and girls